Hi children. Good morning. Welcome you all. This is our science class. Today we are going to start unit 4 science in everyday life lesson. See science inform public policy and personal decision on energy conservation agriculture health transformation communication defense economics leisure and explosion it is almost impossible to overstate how many aspects of modern life are impacted by scientific knowledge so science is very important for our daily life so today we are going to learn science in everyday life see children when we get up in the morning so what do you have as soon as you get up tea coffee or milk right okay so what do they contain if tea means it contain milk tea dust and sugar if coffee means coffee powder milk and sugar correct yes very good do you know why we drink milk in the morning yes because it is good for our health correct yes yes children milk is good for our health so let us learn more about milk in this lesson milk is produced by some animals for nourishing their young ones milk from many animals is used by humans cow milk is commonly used so cow milk is commonly used so first to see sources of milk milk is primarily obtained from mammals they are obtained from other sources too also examples soya milk nut and seed based on milk based on the amount of fat present in the milk it can be classified as whole milk low fat milk and fat free milk see next class we will learn about nutritional value of milk so sources of milk where we are getting the milk we are getting the milk from mammals isn't it these are the these are obtained from other sources also for example soya milk nuts and seed based on the milk then people all over the world get their milk from mammals like sheep goat camel donkey horse yak what a buffalo reindeer and even moose so milk is produced by mammals so name of the mammals is sheep goat camel donkey horse yak water buffalo reindeer and even moose okay children we will meet in the next class thank you children